Hi everyone, my name is Pexley and today we're gonna start a new Let's Play and we're playing Crusader Kings 2 and we're playing as Jews in Italy! I always wanted to make the game a little bit more interesting if you just play a Christian in Italy it, it doesn't have such kind of dynamics so I wanted to change religion so we are Count Ariel of Ancona from the House of Pexley Ancona is the province like in the middle of Italy as I said we have the Jewish faith and our liege is Duke Hildebrand of Spoleto which is this duchy so first things first it's the start of the game the first thing we need is a wife can we have the ambition to marry nope but we want to groom an heir. While this ambition is active, fertility is increased by 20%. Yes! So, find us a suitable wife. We have two we can choose from. Both are 16 years old. Hilzi Perga Tachi Pertigni or Auxilia. So, I take the one who is in the family. Their traits are both not that good. She's glutinous, envious, just and cynical, but I like that she's from a family. So send a marriage proposal and I think she will accept. Oh, she already accepted now. That was quick. You see, I'm a fine, handsome man. So now I can choose. Do I want gold or the people's respect? And of course I want the money. So that's done then we need a focus so let's see what traits we have I meet us touched with which give me a good bow boo, boost got them a good boost on stewardship and fertility I'm a legitimized bastard as well as a kid slayer <laughs> yeah I know that may not be the best but I think for the start it's good cuz I'm the only one of my house so I don't care with dynasty opinion I'm also very quick which gives me plus three on everything I'm lustful, which increases fertility, because I need children badly. I'm stubborn, which gives me an extra point in stewardship at the cost of diplomacy. And I'm wounded. In case you wonder why I start with wounded, it gives me extra points in character creation. And usually wounded, yeah, it tends to disappear quickly. And then I get scarred, which gives me, I think, extra prestige. So as I want to increase stewardship even more, I go for business. Which gives me hopefully business missions. So the next things will be open council positions. So our two vassals, the mayor of Ancona and the bishop of Ancona are already in my council. And we gonna send the chancellor to our liege to improve relations because he's a Christian I'm Jewish so we want to improve relations then we need a steward and stewards need stewardship of course and the best one we have is Cosma with eight well we have nothing better yet we need a spy master as well we have one with 16 Sigisbert well that's very nice and we need a court rabbi but I don't have any Jewish people now <laughs> So, let's try, no, the Christian bishop we have doesn't want to change religion, well that's bad, but I'm gonna send him to train troops, our steward will collect taxes because I need money, and our spy master will study technology in Constantinople. So we still have an open, an open council position which would be the court chaplain or as it's called in the Jewish religion the court rabbi or rabbi. But I don't have any Jewish people now so this has to wait. But we could try. Maybe in my court there's someone who likes me really good. It would be Theodelab which is the mayor of the city. It's the only one that really likes me. Oh ma, come on. Will he change? He will change religion! Well, that's nice. I hope he accepts. So, we have a weak claim. 
The county of Urbino. Why do we have the claim? Ah, because our wife has a claim. Therefore, I have a claim. So, maybe he has no children yet. So, if we could kill him, 74%, our wife would get Urbino and therefore our children. So, auto invite plotters. Maybe we're lucky. So, get that away. The no heir of your dynasty. Of course, I don't have children yet. Open council position. I don't have a rabbi yet. Title loss on succession. Of course, I don't have children yet. Special minor titles grantable. So, the designated re re regent I tend to give to my wife. But she's not yet my wife. Wait a little bit. Court physician. I think I'm gonna wait with that. Or... I will recruit a court physician, which will cost me nothing. So let's have the time running and see what happens. First I'd like to get my wife. Well that's good, the mayor of the city already converted to the Jewish faith. I like that very much, so maybe now I can appoint him rabbi. No, I cannot. Hmm. Well, I don't want to pull him from the council position because he will hate me then. So, maybe... Can I recruit, invite a noble to the court, a debutante, a holy man? I need a PAT of 25. Well, I only have 10 and it raises by 0 0.03. So that will take a while. But let's see if I could change someone other's faith. Well, still the only one that likes me is the mayor of the city. So what's with the marriage? Pro We're already married. That's great. So now she will become. She don't want to become Jewish. I don't like that, but she will get the designated regent so the council members I will make our spy master Ziki spared he will become master of the horse and our steward Cosma will become master of the hunt and our marshal will become Hi, Elmoner. I don't really know what this is. Let's read it. The handing out of alms was an integral part of rulership and religious observance. The one responsible for this task is a very important personage. I don't really know, but he will be. Now we're plus one. Religious conversion. Still no. Ah, oh, that's sad. So let's go on. We got. I'm starting to think Ozilia might fancy me. We don't make a move. She's not my type. And so the next one, one of our scouts report of a pilgrim who just arrived in Ancona. The pilgrim, known as Liot Pert, has been on a pious quest to visit all the Jewish holy sites and is now ending his journey here. During his travels, he has accumulated a vast knowledge regarding medicine and is seeking to put his skills to use. Of course, I will recruit a fellow Jewish man. So I think I can appoint him to our court physician. Oh, he already has the position. That's nice. And he has a learning of 15, which makes him a masterful scholar. That's nice. The Lords of Spoleto have approved the institution of the title revocation. So maybe I can... Let's go to my vassals. Revoke title. I must have 25 prestige. Well, let's let the time run a little bit slower. And let's look at our own laws. Our realm. Revoke title. We will allow this. Obligations. I can't change anything yet. And the council will stay like it is. 
Oh, there's already a rebellion. The Lombard Civil War to increase council power. I don't care. But I'm part of the rebellion. No! <laughs> so I won't dare to put out any troops. I will just keep my feet quiet and peacefully in my little castle. And speaking of castle, the first thing I want to build is a hospital. But for that I will need 100 gold and I make 1.44. So that will take a while as well. So let's hit up the speed a bit. Come on, I need an heir. Let's make children. Please, let's make children. Does he want... No, still not. Nobody likes me. Of course, the mayor and my physician like me. And the bishop a little bit. But no one else except of that. How is our intrigue plot going? 65% plot power. Well, that's not much. That's sad. But let's keep it up. Maybe something will happen there. That would be really, really, really nice. Our liege lord. He has an opinion of minus 14 because I'm an infidel. No! <laughs> That's sad. I'm not an infidel. Come on. So let's have time running fast now. Because right now we only have to wait for money. Fate smiles upon me. My wife Hilsi Perga is pregnant. Finally. So now I have 29 prestige. Can I put away with the bishop. I'm in an ongoing war. Fuck. But I really need a rabbi. Oh, now I can appoint my court physician as a rabbi. Will he stay physician then? I hope so. It's a minor title. Learning 15, that's great. So he will start to proletize or pro proselytize. I'm sorry, my English, you know, I'm still learning. So, my rabbi friend, please start quickly changing the religion of everyone in this province. Oh, what does my liege lord want? To the thrifty Count Ariel, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We've decided to offer you the position of commander. Do you accept? No! I'm too young to fight. I'm... How old am I? Am I stupid? I'm 20, no. I have to focus on family first. I need much children. Oh, we get an extra 9.82 gold. That's fine. Fine, fine, fine. When an epidemic is threatening your court, you can shut the gates. Characters in seclusion will have a hard time communicating with the outside world, but should avoid infection from other sources. Why? Ooh, what sickness is spreading? What sickness is spreading? Consumption. Well, it's still a little bit away from me, so I think I will not shut the gates now. We get a tech boost. Well, that's fine. Our spy master Sigisbert is doing his work in Constantinople. That's good, good. And we have a new courtier, Yechiel Binyamin. Well, he seems nice. He's a renowned physician. So what's he? And has a learning skill of eleven. Does my physician have this trait? This trait as well. No. Well, I don't care. But let's try to give him a wife. So we will have more Jewish people in our province. Your new heir. If your character now dies, you will play as Ariel Pexley. But we will give him another name. 
So problem now is <laughs> I don't really know Jewish names. So Jewish names for God's sake. I don't really know Jewish names. So I really hope this offends nobody. I will research further for Jewish names, but I will give him the name Shlomo. It's the only one I can think about now. My firstborn son, Shlomo Pexley. And his focus will be, of course, thrift. Isn't this a nice looking boy? And I really hope I get a few more sons. If I get a second and maybe a third son, I will try to raise the second or third son in a military way and send them out to become commander of a, of a mercenary group. That would be really, really nice. So... The rebellion is still going. But the king is winning by 12%. My liege, my mission to Spoleto has so far been a success. During my visit the court of Duke Hildebrand... Hildebrand of Spoleto. So I think he should like us now. Yes, plus six, plus six opinion. That's very nice. How is our intrigue going? Still, uh, see, 67.2. That's not much, but maybe something will happen. So I will let the time run till December or the end of December. Break. And I think we're gonna stop it here for this episode or the start of this let's play. Let me know what you think about playing Jews in Italy. I really hope this will get interesting with the religious mechanics as soon as we start to convert provinces to the Jewish faith. Right now everything is Catholic with a few Orthodox provinces in the south. Let me know what you think about that. Leave me a like. If you want it would help me a little bit. Maybe subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.